Thank you for the purchase of your new PI-1000. Here we will illustrate a few steps on how to assemble the unit. Once you are done unpacking all your equipment, please remove the left and right monitor, present it to the sim, connect the power cable and the HDMI cable by routing it behind the bracket. Included are three bolts, three nuts, and three washers for each side. Repeat the same process for both left and right monitors. Don't forget to route the cable behind the bracket. This might require two people. We recommend installing all the bolts before tightening them. Once all the hardware has been installed, please connect your HDMI connections to number one and also plug in the power. Now that all your monitors have been plugged into the system, connect your simulator to 110 volt 20 amp circuit, switch the power on, and turn the key on to the flight console. Now that your visual system is running, we will click these two icons at the bottom left corner of your instructor station, both to trigger the G1000 software and launch the instructor station. The instructor station and the G1000 will launch automatically. Here is a preview of the map on the instructor station. Now that your G1000 is up and running, we strongly suggest visiting the manual for both the instructor station and the operation of the G1000. This G1000 is equipped with a worldwide database as well as several aircraft. From the instructor station, now that the G1000 is up and running, it will give you the ability to change different weather patterns as well as reposition, fail systems, or individual indications. Now that you're finished using the G1000, to shut down the system from the instructor station, if you click this blue button, go down to Remote PC, Shut Down, it will trigger the simulator visual system to shut down once you press the OK button. As you can see, the visual system is now shutting down. Now to shut down the G1000 computer, simply go to the start menu, hit shut down, and that will shut down the computer and exit out of the instructor station software as well as the G1000. Once both computers have been shut down, underneath the tray there's a switch to the surge protector. If you hit that button, it will shut down power to the entire device. Still need a hand? Give us a call at 1-800-557-7590 or after hours just drop us a line at support at flyelite.com. For more info, visit our website flyelite.com. Thanks for watching.